The city of Mason is planning a $17 million renovation and expansion of its wastewater treatment plant and Department of Public Works building. The project itself is an expansion of the capacity of the plant. Um, primarily, but it will also involve uh, a basic update of the equipment that uh, the vast majority of the major equipment there is 40 to 60 years old. So it's outlived its useful life. Whipple said the plant can handle between 1,500,000 to 3 million gallons of wastewater per day. After its expansion, it will be able to handle between 3 million to 6 million gallons and should empty less untreated wastewater directly into Sycamore Creek, something that now happens once or twice a year. So when we get a big rain event, we get a lot more water that runs to our sewer and uh, or our wastewater treatment plant, excuse me. And that uh, causes us to uh, deal with a situation where the plant can't handle that volume of uh, sewage. So we have to actually bypass that plant and pump it directly into the creek. So uh, the other issue is that when the creek gets high, it backs up the pipe that actually dumps the treated water into the creek when it's all done and treated, it actually backs up to the point where we have to shut it off because it would back right up into the plant. Because of the plant's problems handling heavy rains, the city is under a consent order from the Department of Environmental Quality and Whipple says they've been told dumping wastewater directly into the creek has to stop. So the, the main reason we're doing this is to, to enable us to treat sewage properly. And uh, then the side effect of that is it will uh, allow us to get out of the consent order with DEQ, which really just drives some additional reporting requirements for us and, and also uh, kind of holds over us uh, possible impacts to our license to treat wastewater. The project will be done in two phases, starting this fall with the relocation of the Mason Department of Public Works facility, which is now adjacent to the wastewater treatment plant to the water treatment plant on Temple Street. Uh, and then uh, the following year, we would start the work, if everything goes well with the DPW project, uh, we would start the work on uh, getting the designs finalized and going out for bids with the wastewater plant. And I'm guessing that within um, two to three years after this year, that that'll all be up and running. Whipple said the project could lead to an increase in water and sewer rates as high as 40%. And they are working on getting as many grants as they can get their hands on to help offset the cost. If we have to go forward with a very large uh, use fee increase, the cost of water and sewer and mason will still be in the middle of the range of places around us. A lot of people are very concerned about that. Um, I know there's legitimate concerns. Whipple says the new wastewater treatment plant should last at least 20 years. Reporting for Fox 47 News from your neighborhood in Mason, I'm Lauren Shields.